When you're sending off your presentations and people are asking if this presentation is really from you, you may want to consider getting a digital signature because it will confirm the identity of the person who sent the presentation. And they're typically issued by a certification authority or CA, a trusted third party, and in it, it'll contain a serial number, digital signature of issuing authority, expiration dates, and the name and copy of the certificate holder's public key so the user can verify that the certificate is authentic. So once a signature is attached to a document, or in this case, this PowerPoint presentation, it can't be modified without first removing the digital signature, and anybody can remove it. Okay, well, what's the purpose of doing it? Well, it's not like a password protect. It's a way to verify that it's from you, that you created it, that when you send it off to the person, it's from you, and it hasn't been tampered with. If it has, then you won't see that person's digital signature attached to it. And so in which case, one of two things has happened. Either they forgot to digitally sign it, or they sent it off, but somebody intercepted it, made changes to it, and, well, then you can't trust it. So you can go ahead and talk to the person again, call them up and say, hey, I don't see a digital signature. And they can go, oh, yeah, I forgot. Then they can resend it with it. Or they may say, I did sign it, so it's probably been tampered with. I'll send you another one. And you can discard the one that doesn't have the digital signature attached to it. So to go ahead and add a digital signature to the presentation, well, first of all, come with me up here to the File tab backstage. Info selected by default. Click on Protect Presentation. And then down here, there you go, Add a Digital Signature. Ensure the integrity of the presentation by adding an invisible digital signature. Well, it's not invisible. I'll show you where it's at. And look at that. you got a document with a little red ribbon, something like you get in a county fair. Hey, you're first place. Well, in this case, it's the authentication that this document is really from you, that you digitally signed it. Now, before you can go ahead and digitally sign it, you got to sign up with the certification authority, a trusted third party. And if you want to find out a few that Microsoft recommends, then, well, it's not here in PowerPoint. Let me go ahead and come down here and right-click on Word to open up the jump list to open up Microsoft Word with a left click. And the reason why I opened up Word, because I covered this in my Word training video, how to create a digital signature. And in Word, if you don't have one, there's a place you can go to that will open up Microsoft's website and show you the ones that they recommend. And that's up here on the Insert tab. Go to the text group, and there's the signature line. Click on its drop-down arrow, and go to Add Signature Services. Click on it, opens up their website, and it's support.office.com. Scroll down, there you go, they have three. Mine is from Komodo. You can go to their website and check it out, see if that works for you. Pay them a fee, and then after, they'll send you an email with the instructions and the code to install that digital ID onto your computer. Make sure that you install it on the computer. I actually got an email from them a while back, and I wanted to see how it worked. So I installed it under a different user login on the same computer, and then I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and go to the other side. And it's like, nope, it's only for this user that logged in under this specific username on this computer. I can't go to another user login and try to do it again or access it or be able to digitally sign. So follow it to the T. Make sure you're logged in as the person you are if you have multiple logins on the same computer and then go ahead and follow the instructions there so you don't mess up and have to buy another digital ID. In any case, after you do that, you follow the instructions. Let's close out of it. And you installed it on your computer. Then when you come over here and click on Protect Presentation to Add, click on it. There you go, signing as issued by Komodo. That's where I got mine, cool. If you have additional digital signatures, you can change it. And well, I've got two, but uh, this one's something that I created on my own computer that Microsoft allows you to do, but that's another training video. Not here with PowerPoint, but this is the one that I'm using. And so I can just click cancel and go with that one. And then to include information about the signer, click on details. Hey, look, you get the title. That's me, Presidente. And then any additional information like my uh, production place, address. Uh, I'll just click okie dokie, leave it as such. Then the purpose for signing the document. Well, it's to let you know it's from me, that I approve of it, I created it. Or actually, you can do it up here, the commitment type. Click on the drop-down arrow. I created and approved this document, or I approved it. If somebody sent it to me, and I say, hey, it looks good and then send it back with the digital ID, the digital signature, or simply I created the document. So let's just go with created, and then click sign. Your signature has been successfully saved with this document. If the document is changed, your signature will become invalid. 
Okay. A couple things happen. First of all, signed presentation. This presentation has been signed and marked as final. We'll cover that in the next training video, but marked as final. It just means that it's trying to discourage you from editing it. You can still go ahead and unmark it as a final draft to be able to make changes to it, but if you do that, you remove the digital signature. It's very simple to do. So let me show you. Let's go ahead and hit the back arrow so I can show you. There you go, marked as final. You can still edit it anyways, so that's okay if it was intended for you. And then you can go ahead and open it up, make changes to it, then digitally sign it and send it back to the person. But if you intercepted this and you're like, he, 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 I'm going to go ahead and make changes to it. Well, once you click on edit it, digital signatures removed, and then you send it off to somebody else for some nefarious purpose. If they don't see the digital signature, well, they shouldn't trust it. If they did, then mm, not a good idea. That's the whole purpose of the digital signature. Let's go ahead and go backstage, click on file. And let's view the signatures, click on it, opens up the task pane over to the right, and let's go ahead, you can either right click on it and get a list of options or click on the drop down arrow here and get your list of options. And you can remove the signature, in which case you can edit it, or you can just click on edit, in which case it removes it. It's your flavor. Let's go ahead and click on signature details, and there you go. Created this document, purpose for signing it, didn't give it any. And then you can view signing as issued by Komodo, click on view. Oh, you get a lot of fancy information here. Certificate information issued to my email address by Komodo. You get more details, certification path. Let's click okie dokie, keep it simple here. And then you can see the additional signing information that was collected. Click on the link. And we've got the system time, web version, office version. Holy cow, it's giving him everything. Well, let's go ahead and click okie dokie and then see information about the signer. Well, what I typed in, president, yay, click okie dokie, and that's it. Close out, and then of course I can close out of here. But in addition to going backstage and being able to view the signature, you can come down here on the status bar, and hey, there's that little document with the ribbon. It's not red, it's white. This document contains signatures. When you click on it, it opens up the task pane again. Great. Now we can go ahead and view and see if it's something that we trust and get the details there. In which case, if we're done, let me go ahead and close out of here. If you want to edit it anyways, it's marked as final. It removes the marked as final feature and also the digital signature. And you want to watch the next training video on mark as final. It's very simplistic. You just mark it as final, which means, hey, I'm trying to discourage you from editing it. And of course, when we get it, it's intended for us. That's okay. We can edit it. But if somebody gets it along the way and says, hey, don't make changes to it because if you forward it on to the intended party that you took it from, well, they don't see it here. This marked as final. Well, if they haven't watched my training video, then they probably won't know it and trust it. But if you did, you wouldn't trust it and call up the author again and say, hey, re-sign it and send it off to me. So let's go ahead and click on edit anyways. Editing will remove the signature in this presentation. Do you want to continue? Yes. And signature has been removed. Document has been saved. Oh, that's it. You don't get your little digital signature document down below. You don't get the marked as final up here. Go backstage file. And well, no protection. Digital signature is gone. Click on protect presentation. And you can start from scratch and add it. And then go ahead and sign it again. And send it back to the other person once you made your changes. If it wasn't intercepted and you're the intended party. And then when they get that, they can go ahead and click on Edit, Make Changes, and you can have fun digitally signing documents back and forth, knowing that when you get it, it's actually from the person who says it is from, through the digital signature. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.